favor words and language. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Hey, YouTube universe. Thank you for stopping by here. This is going to be a response for Rob Eisen's literature thread. This is the type of video I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I uh, didn't get the chance to, um, so I'm happy to jump in and contribute to this one. Um, this is gonna be records that are influenced or were inspired by literature, either books, poems, um, and even comic books. You'll be looking um, at some of those records here on this episode. I'm going to start off with For Today and this album, Portraits. This is a great um, heavy metal album. Um, it's based on portraits of biblical figures. Um, you can see side A and side B. Uh, the name of each song is based on a biblical character. And this album is just amazing and explosive. Highly recommend it. Another biblical inspired record um, named Naphtali by John Fisher. This is based on a scripture from the book of Genesis. Genesis 49 21, where it says, Naphtali is like a doe set free. He gives beautiful words. Next up, we have Camel, the Snow Goose, and this album is inspired by the book the snow goose this is a beautiful album it's mostly instrument an instrumental album so highly recommend it next we have the alan parsons project with their album i robot and this is inspired loosely based on the book by isaac asimov which is one of my favorite science fiction or um, authors and um based on his book, I, Robot. They also released Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Edgar Allan Poe. Here we have in the, inside the album cover, we have a chronology of Edgar Poe's life. Next we have Pitt Townshend with Y City, a novel. And uh, this album is based on uh, small novel that he wrote actually when this album came out amazing record alice's adventures in wonderland it has a classic complete record on 4lp what's beautiful about this box set that it only it not only comes with the records but it also comes with the book Table of contents. Here is another record from Brad, and the album is called Mana, which is a reference, a word that originally came from the biblical scripture in the book of Exodus. It means the bread that came from heaven. Next up, we have a band that's one of my favorite bands of all time. This is the band Thursday with their album Common Existence. Singer for this band is Jeff Rickley. Rickley is a poet and he's been um, influenced by many authors and poets. Um, in this particular album, there is a song called Time's Arrow based on the book Time's Arrow by Martin. Amos. They also released this album, Thursday, A City by the Light Divided. As you can see on the inside liner notes, we have a quote from a poem from Octavio Paz called I Speak of the City. And that was one of the inspirations for the writings of this album. We have the band Thrice with their album Besu. This album was inspired by the book The by Thomas Pynchon. We have the album by Bruce Springsteen, The Ghost of Tom Joad. I believe this is the second acoustic album by Bruce Springsteen. These are the titles of the tracks 
and this book is based loosely on John Steinbeck's Grapes of Wrath and other writings. And on the liner notes, you can see that Bruce Springsteen also cites the different uh, sources and books that were inspired to write this album. Next up, we have a hip hop album, Dead Press, Let's Get Free. I believe this is from the 90s. Uh, this is from 2000. And um, we have on here a song called Animal and Man. And as you can see on the inside, we have here a reference to the book, Animal Farm. And that song is based on that book of Animal Farm. This Wonder Woman, this soundtrack is based on the DC character Wonder Woman. Next, we have the jazz record by Herbie Mann called Superman. And it's based loosely on the Superman character of DC Comics. Next, we have this album, Venus and Mars by Wings. And on this album, we have one song, song called Magnetum and the Titanium Man, based on the Marvel Comics character Magneto, which is the enemy of the X-Men. We have the music of DC Comics Volume 2, full of music inspired by DC Comics. Everything from Batman to Lex Luthor to Superman to Robin to Supergirl to Flash to Wonder Woman to Metamorpho to the Joker. We have a lot of themes and music inspired by those comic book characters. We have a couple of albums left. This is Boys Don't Cry But The Cure. On this album, on this album, we have the song Killing an Arab, which is a song inspired by the book The Stranger by Albert Camus. We have Blade Runner by Bangelis. This is a motion picture soundtrack by Bangelis, loosely based on the book by Philip K. Dick. It's gonna do it for me, guys. Hope you are well, healthy, and blessed. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay safe, love one another. Be in peace with yourself and be in peace with others. God bless. When she finished all the children's books, she started wandering around in search of something else. Mrs. Phelps, who had been watching her with fascination for the past few weeks, offered Matilda some valuable library information. You know, you could have your very own library card, and then you could take folks home. And you wouldn't have to walk here every day. You could take as many as you like. That would be wonderful. So Matilda's strong young mind continued to grow, nurtured by the voices of all those authors who had sent their books out into the world, like ships onto the sea. These books gave Matilda a hopeful and comforting message. You are not alone.